In this video, we're going to go from this. Oh, man. I need more monitors. To this. Using this. Okay, so sometimes now that people are working from home more with COVID-19 or whatever reason, you might want to use more monitors than what you can physically hook up to your laptop. On this particular laptop, I have an HDMI and a USB-C, so that gives you two extra monitors, which isn't too bad. But, you know, sometimes you just need more. So, uh, I've got this little OKX USB Type-C Hub Pro. And I'm going to be hooking this up, and let's see how it performs. Let's open the box up and see what all we got in here. One of the thing that strikes me right off the bat is it's a small, small packaging. Um, about the size of a cell phone. So this is a lot smaller than a lot of USB hubs that I've seen. Let's open it up. And of course, you got a user manual right here. Nicely packaged, by the way. Okay, and it's got a uh, free one year warranty that comes with it. And this is a USB C hub, so therefore, I need a USB C port to plug this into. Noticing here real quick, we've got some USB ports right here. I'm assuming that's an SD card slot, micro SD card slot. Those are both very handy to have. And then over here, we have a network cable. It can be plugged in right here. And VGA, HDMI. you got two HDMIs right here. And a USB 2.0. Oh, by the way, these... Right here are USB 3.0, they're blue. That's usually a good indicator that these are 3.0 ports. And then, looks like a USB-C uh, port for power. Okay, there's a driver that needs to be downloaded. We'll check in a minute to see if it automatically loads the driver when plugged in. But if not, you can go to displaylink.com forward slash downloads and download the appropriate driver and again this will add three extra monitors to it most of the usb uh, hubs that i've seen will only add two it'll be one hdmi and then one vga so this is kind of a nice little addition that it'll do three also right here is a headphone it says headphone maybe perhaps maybe headphone and mic but anyway it's a headphone at least jack and this also comes with a nice little carrying case for it. So this is very portable, which is which is nice. All right, so next we're going to hook this up to my laptop with USB-C and see how it works. Okay, so the first thing that it tells us to do is to download a new driver. And I'm actually going to follow the instructions this time. Go figure. Okay, and that website is displaylink.com forward slash downloads. And I am using Windows. So here we have the two different versions. It's like the latest one as of now is April. Download that. And accept all the licensing fun stuff. Okay, it is now downloading the driver. I'm going to click open when done. Okay, it is now installing the software. I'm guessing upgrade means update. So while it is doing that, I'm going to go ahead and connect my monitors. I have three right here. So I could conceivably have a total of four, including the, including the HDMI connector in the laptop. 
so I see one first of all right here for VGA that happens to be VGA compatible monitor and then I've got two right here for HDMI okay set that down right there and click finish and I assume that is done so next I'm going to plug in the USB C USB C connector and keep in mind this is kind of a new technology so your laptop may or may not have this connection there are some adapters for regular USB to go to C. However, the displays, as far as I know, do not work with them. It'll work as a USB hub, but not displays. So let's go ahead and plug in the displays. I'm sorry, plug in the USB-C adapter. Okay. Lighting up. Monitors everywhere. All right, so right here is where it gets real fun. What you're going to need to do, so you know exactly what screen you're looking at, is right-click on it, go to Display Settings. Okay, and now we can go to Identify. Come on now, say Identify. And that will identify each one of the screens. I don't know why it keeps dropping off. So mine is it's crazy. Okay, so now you can arrange them. I'll hit identify again. So one is down here. Okay, I'm not sure if I caught all that, but what you do here is hit identify, and that'll light up each one of the screens as to which one they are. And then you can go down here on this screen and drag your monitors around to how you have them physically placed. And so now you can see uh, your mouse move throughout the different screens. I'm just going to drag this around so you can kind of see it. And then when you're done, hit apply. And now I have four screens. And I really wish I had another HDMI monitor because I'm assuming I can plug that into my actual HDMI port here on the laptop and have it add yet another screen, which would give me a total of five. Okay, then right here we have a USB-C connection. Uh, it says it's a charging port, however, it does not seem to be charging my phone. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. There we go. Okay, so uh, that will work for charging. And it appears that that is all that can do is charge. Now, of course, if you want to connect a USB-C to device to talk to it, then you can use one of these and plug in there. So anyway, um, looks like a really good deal. Looks like a great way to add some extra monitors to your laptop. If you have a USB-C connection, in the laptop itself. As always, there'll be a link to this device in the description for you to purchase or at least look at it through Amazon.com. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching. Okay, and now we can go to identify. Come on now.